Beneath the calm blue waters off Indonesia's coast, something massive is waiting to strike. In 2004, the world watched in horror as a magnitude 9.1 earthquake ripped through the Indian Ocean. It triggered a tsunami that swallowed entire cities and killed over 230,000 people in just hours. But what if that wasn't the worst case scenario? Because hidden deep beneath Java, a fault line that hasn't ruptured in recorded history, scientists are now warning of a threat that could be even more devastating than 2004. A section of the Sunda megathrust, long thought to be dormant, is showing signs of strain, and it's capable of producing a tsunami up to 20 meters high. In this video, you'll discover what makes this segment so dangerous when it might erupt, and why millions of lives could be at risk with just minutes of warning. Because this isn't just about earthquakes, it's about the next disaster no one sees coming until it's already too late. The Sunda megathrust is one of the most powerful fault lines on Earth, Yet most people have never heard of it. It stretches over 5,500 kilometers, from Myanmar in the north all the way past Java in the south, a fracture zone where the Indo-Australian plate dives beneath the Eurasian plate. This isn't your average fault. While faults like California's San Andreas move side to side, the Sunda megathrust moves vertically, one plate shoving beneath another. And that vertical motion, it's what creates tsunamis. As the plates grind together, stress builds silently beneath the ocean floor. For decades, sometimes centuries, nothing happens. Then, in a matter of seconds, that stress releases, shifting the seafloor, displacing massive volumes of water, and triggering waves that can cross entire oceans. What makes Sunda so dangerous isn't just its size, it's that much of it is still locked. And the more strain it holds, the more catastrophic the rupture will be when it finally gives. This isn't just a geological feature. It's a sleeping giant, and we're still in the dark about when it will wake. December 26, 2004. A quiet morning in the Indian Ocean, until a segment of the Sunda Mega Thrust ruptured violently beneath the sea. Within minutes, a magnitude 9.1 earthquake shook the Earth. It was one of the strongest ever recorded. The energy release, equivalent to 550 million Hiroshima bombs. But that was just the beginning. The seafloor shifted by up to 20 meters, displacing an unimaginable volume of water. And then came the wave. Entire towns vanished in minutes. Coastal cities across Indonesia, Sri Lanka, India, and Thailand were blindsided. Over 230,000 people lost their lives, many with zero warning. It was a planetary shockwave. And yet the most terrifying part is this that was only a partial rupture. The 2004 quake was powerful, but it only broke a section of the Sunda megathrust. Vast segments to the south, especially beneath Java and Bali, didn't move at all. They're still locked. They're still storing energy. And that means this story isn't over. While the world focused on Sumatra, Java has been sitting on its own geological time bomb. This stretch of the Sunda megathrust, just south of Java's coastline, hasn't produced a major quake in modern history. No one alive has seen it rupture. At first glance, that sounds safe. But in seismic science, a quiet fault isn't a calm fault. It's a locked one. Recent studies using satellite data and seabed sensors have revealed something chilling. The fault zone south of Java is accumulating strain, quietly, steadily, without releasing it. That's the exact pattern that preceded the 2004 disaster. But there's more. A 2025 simulation from a team of geophysicists modeled a potential rupture in this Java segment. The results? A magnitude 9.0 quake is plausible. And worse, the vertical movement could create a tsunami up to 20 meters high, slamming into southern Java and Bali within minutes. Cities like Yogyakarta, Silakap, Denpasar, all lie directly in the danger zone. This isn't a distant threat. It's a massive system, primed and ready, and almost no one is prepared for it. So if this fault is so dangerous, when could it actually rupture? Until recently, that question had no answer. But now, new forecasting models are revealing timelines, and the data is unsettling. A 2024 probability model focused on the Sunda Strait just west of Java, suggests a major quake could strike as early as 2026. 
And that's not all. Another study analyzing strain accumulation in the region estimates a larger cascading rupture could occur between 2030 and 2032, spanning multiple segments across Java and Sumatra. We're not just guessing anymore. For the first time, scientists are pointing to actual years. And the signs they're watching? Ongoing deformation, seafloor uplift, microquakes, GPS drift. Individually, they seem small. Together, they paint a picture that's hard to ignore. The clock may already be ticking. If a quake does strike this hidden segment, who's in the crosshairs? Let's start with southern Java, home to cities like Yogyakarta, Tilakap, and Pazitan. These areas sit just inland from the trench, and many communities are only 10 to 30 meters above sea level. In a worst-case scenario, tsunami waves could arrive within 20 minutes, offering almost no time for full-scale evacuation. Further east, Denpasar and Kuta Beach in Bali face similar risks. Despite being global tourist hubs, their emergency infrastructure isn't built for megathrust-level tsunamis. And that's just the physical impact. Inland cities like Jakarta and Bandung, while not coastal, would still be rocked by intense shaking, leading to building collapses, power grid failures, and possible landslides. Add to that the ripple effects, airport shutdowns, port closures, supply chain collapse. Indonesia is Southeast Asia's largest economy, and a hit this size would echo far beyond its borders. Minutes. That's all some of these cities might get. And right now, most aren't ready. After 2004, Indonesia and its neighbors vowed, never again. In the years since, the region has poured billions into early warning systems, seismic sensors, and disaster response networks. The Indonesian Agency for Meteorology, Climatology and Geophysics now operates a growing network of seafloor pressure gauges, buoys and GPS-linked seismic stations, all tracking the Sunda megathrust in real time. And it's not just hardware. There are now evacuation maps in coastal towns, schools run tsunami drills, cell towers push emergency alerts the moment an undersea quake is detected. It's a massive improvement over 2004, no question. But here's the problem. Even the best system can't beat time. If a megathrust quake hits the southern Java segment, the tsunami could arrive in under 20 minutes. And many coastal communities live within five minutes of the water. There's no time for hesitation, no room for error. And in many places, no infrastructure to support a fast evacuation. Worse, the ocean floor off Java is covered in thick sediment. That sediment can mask smaller foreshocks, hide fault movement, and delay warnings even further. So while technology is better, proximity still wins. And for millions of people living near the trench, that means they might never get the warning at all. So far, we've been talking about a single rupture, one segment, one quake. But what if it didn't stop there? In 2004, the Sunda megathrust ruptured over 1,300 kilometers in a single sequence. One fault failure triggered the next, and the next, in a domino effect, scientists call a cascading rupture. That could happen again. Right now, several major fault segments are locked. The Mentawai Gap near Sumatra, the Java segment hidden beneath sediment, and the Bali Trench further southeast. If these break together, the result could be a quake of unprecedented scale potentially a magnitude 9.2 or higher, spanning thousands of kilometers of seafloor. The tsunamis? Faster, taller, and far more widespread, impacting not just Indonesia, but Malaysia, Australia, the Maldives, even parts of East Africa. It would dwarf most disasters in modern history. And here's the scariest part. We wouldn't know it's coming until it already starts. Each segment could trigger the next in a matter of minutes. And once the chain reaction begins, there's no way to stop it. The Sunda megathrust is a geological giant, invisible, silent, and waiting. From Sumatra to Bali, this fault line holds more energy than almost any place on Earth. And while 2004 was a global wake-up call, most of the fault is still locked, still loaded. Java's seismic gap, cascading rupture zones, cities with just minutes of warning time. The threat is real, and it's getting closer. But here's what keeps scientists up at night. One stretch of the Sunda mega thrust, deep beneath the Mentawai Basin, shows strange, inconsistent behavior. It doesn't move like the others. It doesn't build strain the same way. And yet, it hasn't ruptured in over 200 years. 
Some believe this anomaly might hold the key to predicting future quakes. Others think it could be the trigger that unleashes the next mega disaster. In an upcoming video, we'll explore this anomaly, what it means, and why it could change everything we know about the next rupture. Subscribe if you want to be ready before it hits. Like if this gave you new insight. And stay curious, because the Earth is still moving.